Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new video and today we're back with a brand new vlog It's been a while since I've recorded Because it's been half term and I've just been working and the days I'm not working I've been sorting stuff out with the house, so There's a few updates about that which I need to I'm gonna bring up to date on So Yeah, it's just been quite a busy week I think the whole half term, I think I had like three days off but one was very early on one was in the middle one was near the end so it's quite nice I had a bit of a break but yeah i've just been here there and everywhere so last yeah with the house last friday not last friday but the friday before last my girlfriend called up our solicitors basically asking for not to inquire on the inquiries and our solicitor was on a week off so it wasn't dealt with by our solicitor it was dealt with by another solicitor so then they said yeah we're just waiting on like one or two more inquiries to be sorted out of our inquiries to be sorted out so it should it should be done by the end of next week so what we're going to do to speed up the process a little bit is we're going to send you the contract so and we're like incredible because we weren't expecting that the contract another two three weeks to be honest just the fact we got them they told us like need two weeks ago that we could get them. It's fantastic. So fast forward to Tuesday morning, or well, Tuesday. Me and my girlfriend had work and we had a lot to get sorted out before work. So we're like, right, okay, let's basically we decided to buy a few days prior, buy it, like a microwave, a toaster and a kettle just because we needed stuff like that. So we went out for a little bit before a few hours before work. We looked around found a toaster we liked found a mic well found a kettle we liked but they weren't in stock in that particular store so i was like okay what i'll do is i'll order them i'll order them to the store and i'll just do it like that so i don't know i have to do it in two separate orders because some weird reason the kettle which was in stock they couldn't do the click and collect with the toaster so i had to do two separate orders so i was like okay but I found a microwave that was quite nice looking. She went to my girlfriend. She's like, "That's nice," but so I decided to buy that as well because I know, well, I know we'll be. I didn't really use it in when we had our own place, but it was handy if we did need it. So I think we've done like for heaters or something. We could put the wraps in there to warm up. If you do beans on toast, we can put beans in there. But now I've got a gas hob and cooked them on the hob, so it's a little bit easier. So it's one of them things we didn't really need, but I just thought it's good to have it there in case we need it I thought a microwave bill one day or something just just out of the blue so it just makes it a little bit easier so yeah we've done all that got home Tuesday night and the contracts were outside the game room door and I was like fantastic opened up but before I opened them I realized that someone had cut into them as in Someone had to cut the bottom of the envelope like halfway, but I knew it wasn't the raw mail because if it, the envelope got damaged, they'd have to either repackage it or they'd have to tape it up. Same for the postman. So I was just like, the only people I can think of are the people that live under this roof right now, and there's only four of us. <laughs> and me and my girlfriend are out all day. So it's even my mum and my brother. So I was like, um, okay. So I've I've made them aware that I know something's up that they've been snooping without telling them that I know that they've been snooping. Been making like the odd comment here and there, like not like like this slightly passive aggressive comment, basically I know what you've done. We've had a feeling for a few weeks, but I didn't want to like confront anyone because obviously it's a bit awkward and I'm not confronted about this because obviously it'd be awkward so rather than tell my family face to face that I've got a house I just text them because I was like you know what if they've done this they don't deserve to me telling them face to face they they can get it over text to us but that's how I told most people to be honest I just told them over text or a message rather than a phone call or anything like that it's just, it's just quicker and it's less awkward and stuff like that so 
So that was fun. My family snooping through my contract. But it was placed outside in a way that the side that was opened was hidden, like sort of against the door, like on the floor. So unless, obviously, most people pick, open it from the top. But then I was like, oh, okay, looked on the back, and that's where we saw the rip. I was like, okay. It was just a bit weird, because if it was caught by something, let's say the dog got got her hands on it, well, got her paws on it, and she's a husky, it'd be gone. There'd be no contract to sign. <laughs> and if someone used a, if I used a finger on it, there'd be a bit... If someone used a finger on it, it would be a bit more ripped. It was just how it was done. It was just like between the seam, if you like. So I've got like an old envelope here. It was sort of like along that thin line, sort of like from the corner. Like sort of it's like slightly ripped in the corner and then it was like marked across. But I got rid of the orig original envelope because we didn't need that. We got that rid of that discreetly. Well, like we shredded that because you know, it's got personal information. So we're just like, okay. But it was too clean to be done by a pair of fingers. So my my theory was it had to be a pair of scissors. Or like a blade. It had to be some sort of blade. Like a pair of scissors. Because there was no way someone could open a letter that clean. Without scissors. It would have a few like tears here and there. But there was none of that. So it was a pair of scissors. Meaning it can't have been anyone else. Other than someone in this house. So... I've not really spoken to my family since then and I don't know why I'm going to communicate with them going forward I'm still trying to figure that out whether or not I actually want to keep in contact with them once I move out but right now I'm keeping things civil because I'm still under this roof no I'm not kicking off I'm not doing anything I've not I'm not talking to family about it because to me it's then going to cause a bit of a wedge between family members and it's just like I don't need that. I'm not going to worry about that. This should be a happy time. I shouldn't be stressing about things like that, you know. So I'm just waiting a few weeks, wait till I get the keys. And then once I've moved out, I'll make my decision then. But it's leading more towards, you know, the cutting contact. Because I know it sounds really cruel and really mean when I say that. But I, if someone's going through my personal documents, that's technically a crime. But I could technically call the police. I could have technically called the police there and then be like, this envelope's been opened. It contains personal documents. And I could have, my mum could have got arrested. And I could have got it done. Like, that's how serious it is. But I decided not to. Because, you know, I'm the bigger person. I would just, I'm not going to confront anyone about it. Because I know they get, people get defensive. It can get defensive. So, you know, I don't want to cause any scenes and make things more awkward in the next month or so whilst I'm still packing because we don't actually know when we're moving in yet the contract's been signed they've got the contracts but we're still waiting on the last inquiry to come we now went on one inquiry to come through and then it's just paying the deposit and everything makes obviously exchanging money and all that and then that's that's done then we can move in so it's very likely we could move in in November which is exciting but at the same time it's like shit because we only started this late August and it's it's Halloween tomorrow, so it's been just about, it's been about two and a half months since we started this whole thing, and yeah, it's it's just flown by. It's been stressful. It's been not stressful, but it's, it's sort of like on and off stress. If that makes sense. So, because obviously the right everything right now is out of our hands. The first three weeks we flew by. It's now just the solicitors we're waiting on. Literally, literally, like the solicitors for the other side are waiting on my solicitors. My sister to do what she needs to do, and literally, we're waiting on our solicitor to do what they need to do, and it's just we're waiting on one person to basically pull their finger out their ass, and yeah. But anyway, aside going back from you know the family stuff, the next day we went down, we went out, and then, but like before we left, mum was asking about. Worried that my girlfriend's gonna pay her money because we pay money obviously every month to help with bills, which is a bit weird because even though it was payday for my girlfriend that day, and we'd literally 
it was like 9 a.m. because we well, it was like midday because we're just taking the rabbit to the hey kill, just taking hiccup to the vet to basically get a jab. And I got his yearly vaccine just so then he's prepped for like stuff like mox. Well, I don't know what the disease is, moxie might be one of them, but he'd be, able, he'd be able to go outside when we get a house. So it keeps him safe, and yeah. And then this was like how it was us and a bit sheepish. So we're like, she definitely knows that we know. And she definitely knows that we know what she's done. So it's sort of like, she's feeling, I don't know. But then I told her over text. And I won't worry about the reply, but it's not one you, it wasn't like a congratulations one. That's all I'll say. So, yeah, so I went out. Met with one of our friends, they helped us sign the contract. She took them to, went to Spoons, bought some food, went around the shop for a little bit, and then we we're like, right, okay, we need to get home <laughs> because, yeah, we're just, we've been busy, and yeah, it's just, just been a long day. It was like a long, stressful 24 hours that, and it was just like, we don't know what to do, and then, so. Obviously, we had to send the contracts off on the Wednesday as well, just to make it easy. We got the contracts on the Friday, which is good. They might have gone on the Thursday, but our solicit- we've been updating, uh, emailing our solicitor, asking for an update, and they've not been updating us, not literally replying to our emails or anything, which I understand they're busy, but as a client, we are allowed to keep me updated on stuff. If we ask for an update, I think they have to update us. So we then called around and got on the phone to our sister's manager, which is, we didn't realise, we'd spoke to the same person last week, and they're the same person who sent out our contract, so we're just like, ooh, shit, so, <laughs> so yeah, we're just like, okay, so sort of said, yeah, with, we, I let my girlfriend do all this sort of stuff, and then I'm dealing with more of the packing side of things, but yeah, it was like, I'll speak to her Monday, get you, get her to give you an update. But I was like, that's no point of giving her an update, because you've just given us an update, so. But, you can talk to her if you want, but, and you can get her to update us, but, yeah, it's just a lot going on, so, yeah. But we've signed the contract, and we've started packing with packed like all our teddies we had in our bedroom we've packed i've taken the lego sets you know the rivendell and diagon alley what what was that over there i've taken them to storage i took them friday i've got some more boxes here because the plan is i want to pack all the paperwork that's in them tubs behind me just in there i want to pack that into boxes and put them on the funko pop shelf and then put the funko pops in them tubs because that really worked last time. It means the dad spent hours upon hours wrapping Funko Pops and put them in a box. I'll just chuck them in a tub. I'll keep them under my desk and then I'll just move them to my car. And it means I'm personally moving them. The only person moving them is me. And I'll be going in my car and I'll be in there for a little while. And I'll just like seatbelt them in or something just to keep them a bit more protected. Or just put them long ways and then put my seat back enough so then wedges it in put them on into wedges so they can't physically move I might do that at least then very unlikely to get like none got damaged last time which is fantastic news and yeah that's and I've got no one got damaged last time so I'm hoping the same thing happens again with the Lego sets we're not having to move them from my mum <laughs> might have to move into my girlfriend's mum's and then to our house. We're just moving them straight from here to the new house. We've got a whole room we're going to put the Lego in. For now, temporarily. Until I get my PC set up. Which I've got a separate room for this as well. So I've got my own separate game room like I do now. My girlfriend's got her own separate like Lego room. She can like, build a Lego set, set sim. And they've got like the bedroom. So this means we've got, to me, I think it's healthy to have a space each to unwind. So let's say we've both had a really stressful day, rather than, obviously, talk, well, we can talk about it, but obviously, let's say we've had a bit of a disagreement or something like that. 
I can go to my room, she can go to hers, we can just both unwind, and cool off a little bit, and it just means we don't get down each other's throats as much, which we don't anyway, it's very rare we do, but it it would just be good to sort of have that space as our own little personal bubble, like, if and about you can just go in there, unwind, and yeah, it's do quite nice, and I think the game room in the new house is slightly smaller than this one, however, it's a different shape, it's, I think, well, I think it might be a similar size, if not slightly smaller, but it's laid out a little bit better. Like, this game room, to be honest, isn't the best laid out, because this is the only place my PC could go, however, there was no plug sockets, so I then had to buy a whole new extension lead and put it behind an Ikea unit. So literally I've got a plug behind that Ikea bookshelf going all the way down to here. And it's the same for the fridge. So I can't actually move the PC until I move that bookshelf. And I can't move that bookshelf until I've moved the clothes and the fridge out of the way. So I just need to... I can move the fridge out of the way. Well, I can't actually because the Ikea bookshelf is there. So <laughs> it's going to be a fun one to figure out that one. Because I obviously built the bookshelf after I put the fridge there. I can't remember. But, yeah, it's going to be a fun one, nonetheless. But, yeah, on Saturday, like, last Saturday, we went out, brought a bunch of stuff for the house, like, cooking, but, like, baking trays, and we brought some more frying pans, because we did have some. I brought, like, a set from Asda, but it was only one frying pan. My girlfriend's like, we'll be fine with that. But I was like, no, we won't. Because sometimes you use two frying pans a meal, and you, you're stressed down the line. It will You'd be fine now, but down the line, it won't be. So uh, we found a deal, like, instead of being, like, 30, 40 pounds, they're off 15. So we're like, we're going to go for that, because 15 pounds for quite decent brand frying pans, instead of, it's, like, half price. I was like, I can't go wrong with that. I can't, I can't say no. So we got them, brought, like, a new dinner set, because I just said to my girlfriend, it'd just be nice to have a nice-ish dinner set, new dinner sets because obviously then it's not sat in storage for a year in case they weren't washed properly and then obviously it's grown mold or anything we sort of covered ourselves and she was like yeah i see a point now so we've done that i brought all new cutlery because then obviously i know it's all got to do is quickly clean it and it's done it's your quick washing up bowl like fill up the single washing up liquid boom boom done one of us washes one of us dries sorted i won't need like a massive scrub either so it's just not one once over so it'll be even quicker to wash up and then we brought like some utensils we brought all sorts we brought a washing line as well but it was one that we can retract so it means that in the summer well in the winter or something like that or we've got people around we can get the washing in and it's like seven meters we've got five seven meter lines so you've got 35 meters of just washing which is way more than what we need but i thought Getting way more is better than not getting enough. I think too much is better than too little, because otherwise you've then got to figure out where to put it. And it's one, and this washing line attached to the wall, and I'm just going to get like some hooks, like some heavy-duty hooks or something, and we'll just stretch it over and hope for the best. <laughs> so it's going to be quite, hopefully quite nice that I can do that. Because I think then this means we can, we've still got our garden without the look of a washing line. It's going to make it look a lot nicer as well. And then I said I want to get some deck chairs at some point, or some cheap £10 ones. So you said we can sit outside at night and just sit in our garden. Enjoy our garden a little bit in the winter, because it will be like November, December when we move in, possibly. So very likely. So I was like, if we just get some cheap palm, like deck chairs or something, we'll be fine. So, but we're going to get them when we move in, because we don't need them right now. So, it makes it a bit nicer. Also brought like a little stepping stool because my girlfriend is quite small. So, she was like, I need something to step up to to get the top covers. So I was like, say no more. £10 step stool. I got, it was either like £6 for a shorter one or £10 for the taller one. So I was like, I'm getting you the taller one because it might benefit me as well. So it means at least then we can like, change a light bulb having to get a step ladder out or anything like that. So it makes it a bit better, we don't need a step ladder for everything, 
because I struggled with that in our old house. Like I couldn't reach the top cupboards because I was too short. So then that was just random stuff put up there. So now it means at least I can now reach the top cupboard and make use actually use it. And we've got a larder as well. We've got a lot more cupboards than we did in our old house. So we'll be able to actually use the kitchen as a kitchen and actually put you know saucepans and all that in the cupboard as opposed to on the wall. So it makes it a bit more hygienic. Anyway, anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here, as I want to play Spider-Man 2. I've, it's been a week since I've played it, I'm literally an hour and a half into the story. And not if that, I'm probably like an hour into the story. I'm very early in the, in the game, and I want to progress. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you all next time. See ya!